Herbalism was active in America until about 1913, which was at the same time as we started seeing more medical schools open up and people become really interested in the Western or what we now call the allopathic healing model. Um, it's also around the same time that our first pharmaceuticals were developed and those were things from, you know, we started making morphine from opium poppies. Um, that was the big example of one of our first pharmaceuticals. And then around the 1920s, we also had our first um, derivative of aspirin from white willow bark. So as you see, we were always using these medicines, but now pharmaceuticals came and really extracted from plant material into a more um, chemical compound so they could then be patented and prescribed only by the people that we called physicians. Around the 1970s, James Duke and John Lust came out with a few herb books that started um, to revive herbalism in America. It was popularized by the Back to the Land movement and people who now wanted to start using midwives and home birth, who wanted to start growing their own food and their own medicine, and didn't really take off in the United States until the 1990s. Um, and this is when echinacea became the big popular herb. And so from people knowing echinacea, they began to be more interested in taking other herbs. And more, before we had um, kind of hippie herb schools that people would just go off with their teacher and start wild crafting and learning how to make their own medicine. But in the mid 1990s, we also started developing more um, rigorous classroom study of herbs so we can bring um, herbs kind of out of the woods and more into a clinical setting, how it used to be back in the days of the physiomedicalist. So there really has been a long history of us exporting ginseng to China and also exporting our echinacea to Europe. But until the mid 1990s, 90% 90 of the herbs grown or wildcrafted in America were actually sent overseas. So now more of our um, North American herbalists are using the plants. So it's even more important to think about ethically wildcrafted herbs or growing your own organically so we don't use up the vast amount of herbs that we once had um, growing natively.